forward to for Dallas, Dave. What, what, what are you looking forward to see? What do you think? Ooh, I'm, I want to see how um, our vets come back off the COVID list, to be honest with you. I want to see how Lamar Jackson plays. I want to see how Dobbins plays. Um, you know, we, we're unsure how, how it's going to take a toll on our players. So, Absolutely. Okay. Hey, hey, John, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think about the Dallas game and specifically Andrews not being there? Uh, you know, something I was thinking about this this uh, week, even before uh, finding, you know, when he wasn't going to get to play this game and stuff, is uh, this is a hindsight 2020 thing, but I think they're really wishing they hadn't traded Hayden Hurst. Right. Uh, yeah. I think they're missing him bad uh, just with injuries and everything. He would be such a welcome presence on the team right now. What, what do you think specifically they're missing from him? What do you think? Uh, he's an athletic pass catching tight end, you know, that, that puts pressure on the defenses. They have to account for him, you know, and, and once he was gone, you kind of saw that they could focus on Andrews more and Boyle wasn't the same guy as Hurst in terms of what he could threaten you with. Right. Uh, so, and I think now with Boyle out too, they're just, they, they really wish they could have him on the team right now. We got Luke Wilson, but anyway, <laughs> Hey Malik, what do you think? Uh, I think, you know, everyone coming off the COVID list, they're going to have to knock off some rest, some rest. I just expect them to run. I, I want to see who they're going to start at center. That guy actually that they started from the practice squad, actually, he held a pretty good Pittsburgh. They have a yep. pretty, a pretty tough defensive line. And we might right. be seeing our center of the future because mm -hmm. it's been horrible. And not only are they missing Hayden Hurst, but they're also missing Marshall Yager too. Now, obviously he retired, but by the Hayden Hurst trade, we also got Dobbins. But I think Dobbins needs to be the feature back. I mm -hmm. think that they need to um, really try to get the ball in Hollywood hands. I think this should, you know, it's just, you know, Lamar Jackson, it's, it's going to be some rest. I just hope that this can just be a build game. Mm -hmm. We can just start stacking wins. But, um, you know, I expect the defense to be flying around Dallas. They're, they're just a mess with just everything that's going on. Um, they're like worse than the league in rest defense. We should we should run at least. You should get at least two hundred and fifty yards it, easily. You know, okay, maybe um, have two two backs with over eighty yards in the game. I mean, okay, I, I expect, but it's just with the COVID, it's just it's just different. It's not like anything we've ever dealt with. So I'm I'm a little I'm not too excited, not too overconfident because just okay. with Lamar, you know, with the rest and everything. So yeah. okay, Monica, you think we're gonna see a lot of deaths? I, you know me, I'm, I'm hoping we see a lot of does. Um, what, do you mean, what do you mean a lot of does? Five or six reception? At least, at least. Um, one of the things that I've been hoping for is that um, in the end zone, especially, they throw it up to does. I mean, a, a couple, two games ago, I think it was, or three games ago, right. that end zone catch that wasn't. Um, Des would have caught that. And I just feel like those kind of um, go up and grab them. I, I think that's a Des thing. Um, Hollywood's yeah, yeah. got speed. Boykin is hit or miss. Um, and so I feel like if, if you just toss that up to Des, you know, he's going to get it. So five or six at least, I hope. Well, I thought, I thought you know, like first and 10, I thought that'd be Des. Hey, John, are, we, are we a playoff team? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. As of today, no. Seat. As of today, no. Nope. Uh, you know, I just did that. It's connected to that, I was thinking, watching, because I watched a decent amount of the Browns Titans game. I was like, right. as of this week, the Browns are a better team than the Ravens. Right. Uh, I seem to have but, found that, the flow. It, but, but that only matters once the 16 games are done, you know? Okay. So we'll see by then. What, what do you think, Dave? What? Um, so here's the thing. Can, can we be Mayfield, a can playoff caliber can team? We? Yes, absolutely we can. Um, now, here's the thing. Baker Mayfield runs on a schedule. He runs with – he does good game, brags about good game, bad game, <laughs> brags – or uh, complains about the people that didn't do it, mm -hmm. um, preps for a good game, has a good game. So right now he was at the good game schedule. By the time next Monday comes around, it's going to be has a bad game schedule. So, yeah. So. Okay. What about you, Malik? We're a playoff team, you think? As of right now, no team. Um, you know, um, is we we've been on the slide. We've been beating ourselves. 
hopefully that'll change in the next couple of weeks. You know, we, we definitely got to beat Dallas. Um, and we definitely have to beat Cleveland. I mean, Cleveland, you know, we all know what they can do. They're actually better since Odell Beckham, Beckham got hurt. Um, but they almost lost that game against the Titans. The Titans came roaring back at the end, and, and Baker tried to do – what did he try to do, a kneel down and fumble the ball? I was just like yeah. – <laughs> yeah, Well, you like, know, Whoa. but, uh, you know, I, I think we're a playoff caliber team. If The, the Dallas game, what, to me, would tell me if we're a playoff caliber team. What do you think, Monty? Exactly. Uh I agree with everybody else at this current time. I don't, I don't know that we're a playoff team. Um, and, but you're can right. We, be one? we can be. And that's the right. thing. If, if everything, if we play out and win, then we'll be fine. Um, and I think that somebody else had said it best. Um, we just, we control our own destiny. We need to not worry about what everybody else is doing um, and focus on us. And as long as we do that, I think we're going to be fine. And okay. I'm going to be bold here and say this. This year, we will not be one and done if we get in the playoffs. Okay. Um, and it's a bold statement, but I think this year we will not be one and done if we get in the playoffs. Yeah. Okay, Malik, do we agree that Dobbins and Dobbins and Gus Everett's are one and two, correct? Five is that running backs? Is who we I want? think so. Mark, you know, uh, Mark Ingram has really not been playing well this year. I don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe. You know, they say Father Tom is undefeated, but definitely Hob, um, Dobbins and Edwards, you know, definitely one, two punch. But I think Dobbins needs to be the feature back. I okay, mean. Monica, what about yes. you? Uh, I love Mark Ingram. I think he's great for team morale. I think he's um, great for leadership in, um, you know, getting the guys um, ready for the game. But I, I think it's, he he his play has fallen off and it's it didn't it wasn't just this year it started falling off at the end of last year um and it could be the injury and it just maybe never really completely healed or didn't get him back to 100 percent. but at this point we need a, a dobbins um bus one two punch you on board with that jonathan uh yeah i i agree uh you know I, it, it seems very clear to me you know uh you watch dobbins you watch you know, Gus, it, 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 if that's not what happens, then they must know something that I'm not seeing. My eyes just don't work no more. How about you, Dave? I, I fully agree. I think they need to make him a third back, a third, like, you know, a third string. Um, he's a great player to have on the team. I don't think he's going to be able to put up the numbers like he did last, last year. He got a thousand yards by the LA game. Like he hit at 1000 yards by the time he played on that Monday night against LA and, yeah. Okay. Is uh, doing now. Uh, Monica is Trace the backup number two now. Uh, yeah, and I think that's regardless of what um RG three does as far as injury is concerned. I think Trace showed that um he's as you said he's gonna be um good for years. Um, well, you know, in a backup well, capacity, maybe even somebody might even come in and try to try to take him when the time comes, but. I, I think he's already. Uh, I think he's uh, Lamar's backup from now on. Well, you know, I think I was. I, I think I put it on social media. I think well, obviously not in Russell Wilson, but he kind of looked like Russell Wilson, third and four. He can run and get the first down. He's not going to outrun nobody, but he can. Slide, mm -hmm. He can get that first down. He can roll out of the pocket. He's quick. I think he's quick. like that. Yeah, I just think he's quick. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't, mean, I didn't interrupt you, but he's quick. He has quick. Feet. He's not blazing fast like Lamar, but, but he's. You know, he's quick and, you know, as we can see, he can, he's pretty accurate on the mid range pass. So, yeah, definitely. I hit, they should have started him early. Well, <laughs> early. How about you, John? Uh, yeah. I, I, number two. I think what they're going to end up doing, uh, assuming RG3 is healthy enough, I think he'll continue to be the backup because they might trust him as the guy that can step in if in the middle of a game and finish the game. Right. But if, if Lamar went down where he was going to be out for a couple of weeks, they would start McSorley uh, so? instead of RG3. Uh, that's what yeah, I R think I see them yeah. doing. So you think RG3 is kind of a quick fix, but if we got to go long term, then we'll put Trace McSorley in there. Absolutely. Absolutely. And just, just as uh, to note on that, if that was the case and they had to go with McSorley longer term, it would also almost give them a little bit of an uh, assurance policy when it comes to signing Lamar's contract to go, you know, if, if McSorley ends up starting a certain number of games and playing well, 
they go, well, we don't have to pay you $500 million like Mahomes gets because we could pay this guy less and get 80%, 85%. And maybe, maybe he projects out better later. You know, it, it's, yeah. it gives them, it gives them some wiggle room too. Not to what say that they don't want to keep Lamar. What do you think, Dave? Trace? The back- I, yeah. Trace is definitely going to have to be the backup. Um, I, I want to see a little bit more of what he can do. Um, you know, that nice throw to Hollywood was great. Like, you know, I want to see somebody consistently throw outside the numbers. Um, but he, and, but he's not, know. It, it, you know, if Lamar's play, he's not going to, he's not going to get that opportunity, but anyway, exactly. Uh, who's this for? Um, Monty, um, is, is Lamar up for a contract? I mean, can we sign extension next year? Is he on his fifth? Cause I, I guess the, that whole draft class, Josh Allen, I guess they can sign him next year or wait for the fifth year options, I think. So are we going to just, I guess we're going to wait until, wait until we have to pay him, I guess. My guess actually is that they'll try to sign him next year um, simply because we can. We don't have, um, yeah. we don't have to do that fifth year extension. We might, but I, I have a feeling we're going to try to sign him next year. Um, Mahomes got 50 million. What, what are we talking <laughs> that's the question what are we talking at least 30 he's a... unfortunately and and you know i'm a little more girl but he he's not getting 50. um he can want it but i don't think he'll get it because as jonathan said you can pay somebody and get 80 percent of the production and the ravens have been pretty i mean they got burnt by joe no no offense to joe but they got burnt by joe by paying him um and I don't think they're like going to let that happen again. What do you think, Malik? Um, I think they're going to be in the same situation with Joe. You know, Joe just won a Super Bowl. No one did, would have anticipated Joe um, falling off. But Lamar has a good work ethic. Like, mm-hmm. and he has a better work ethic than Joe did. I mean, mm-hmm. honestly, that's that's the truth. Yeah. And yes. Yeah, but are you going to pay him $45 million coming off this season? Nah. Nah, that's <laughs> Nah, that's not. Nah. It depends. I mean, if he wins the Super Bowl, they might consider it. There's still a chance he could do that, but yeah. I don't think that's going to happen this year. Well, let me ask you, Malik. It, can Lamar, is Lamar a system guy or he, can he fit in any, any system? Can Lamar go to San Francisco 49ers and run their offense? Um, nah, he, he's a system guy. Definitely a system guy. You know, I wouldn't so say, cause, yeah, yeah, because, you know, he's, he's, he has some flaws. Now, he can make a lot of throws that a lot of quarterbacks can't. I'm just mean, as far as a pure passion, he can be extremely accurate, but he's really not that good down the field. You know, and he's okay. not good outside of numbers, but he's definitely a system quarterback. I mean. What do you think, Dave? I think um, I think everybody is correct. Like what everybody's been saying, I think it's good, so. Okay, okay, gang. Uh, Jennifer, give me a score and something in the game coming up. All right, I wanna see uh, 200 plus rushing yards against these Cowboys. Bad rushing defense, 200 plus rushing yards, uh, 28 13 win. Malik, what do you got? I agree with Jonathan. I'm saying 225 plus rushing yards. <laughs> I'm saying 38 to 16. I think we're going to stomp them real good. Monica, what do you got? All right, I, I agree. If their, their rushing defense is not where, what it should be, um, with Dobbins coming back and being hopefully being on fire from being off for a couple weeks, I'm going to go with. Uh, 200, around 200 rushing yards. Give me a score. Uh, 21-7. Uh, Dave, what do you got? Ooh, I'm going to say we break 40 this week. I say uh, 41 to, I don't know, maybe 7. Maybe okay. eight. I don't know. Maybe I, got, I got 35 to 17, and we're going to have a punt return. But anyway, thank you very much, and I appreciate you doing me on Captain Corner. And gang, we're out of here. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank, thank you. you. See you next Wednesday, the yes, after the Dallas victory. Okay.